but when a nonprofit group sought the lists in 2007, CBS and Clear Channel using the rolling litigation strategy that has let them operate with impunity in L.A. persuaded a judge to issue a restraining order. On April 2nd, the Los Angeles jurors saw things differently. Judge James Chalfan rejected CBS Outdoor and Clear Channel Outdoor's claims that billboard locations and other information are a trade secret not to be shared with the public or media. Chalfant told the two ad giants, quote, your competitor has the same right to the list, end quote. But the powers that be found a way around Chalfant's order. Last month, city bureaucrats handed the weekly a, a heavily redacted spreadsheet in which each company provided the street addresses of more than 1,500 billboards they own, but not the end, not, but did not indicate which ones violate the law, the rules. Five weeks ago, Rocky Delgadillo was the guest of honor at a party hosted by veteran billboard lobbyist Ken Spiker Jr. While guests snacked on gourmet cheeses in the opulent patio garden of the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills, Hathaway, and a handful of activists pick, picketed on Doheny Drive, carrying signs that read, Rocky sold us out, illegal billboards must go, and more sky, less signs. After Delgadillo's handlers, Nick Valesquez, tried to appease the ragtag band, telling a Channel 11 reporter that the city attorney is not a billboard act advocate, a strangely jolly Delgadillo joined the protest on the sidewalk, declaring that the soiree unfolding inside wasn't even about the billboards. Clearly enjoying the rare attention from journalists, he jovially pledged, I am on your side. I have a bill in Sacramento. I need the facts. Let's get together and dissolve and solve this problem. One activist called out, quote, what about the appearance of this, end quote, referring to his campaign help in the billboard industry and his decision to associate with billboard lobbyist Spiker. Hollered another, quote, when the settlement was made, it was made behind closed doors. Quote, no, it wasn't reported, <laughs> retorted Delgadillo. Come on, man, this guy's a freaking crook, man. Anyway, before ducking back inside, he added, quote, and thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> End quote. <laughs> oh boy. Delgadillo is a favorite target of billboard detractors for talking big but rare, rarely active. Last year, a month after Delgadillo, uh, sorry about that, a month after City Hall's quiet settlement with billboard firms, Delgadillo announced at a splashy press conference, quote, tough new legislation to close loopholes that protect owners of illegal billboards if they have not been cited in five years. Quote, he didn't make a peep about it again, end quote, Hathaway recalls. Quote, he had such a bad reputation on these lawsuits, lawsuit settlements, he was trying for some good PR. He gets some good media coverage, then lets it twist in the wind and die, end quote. Says Delgadillo spokesman Velasquez, quote, we hope to bring it back this year, end quote. Now fueled by the closed door deal by CBS Outdoor, Clear Channel Outdoor, and Regency, the city faces lawsuits by other billboard companies clamoring to build bright digital billboards in, May in L.A. Mobley. The attorney representing firms like Summit Media demands to know why, quote, companies and individuals who buy political favors, end quote, got the digital billboards and other goodies. Smaller companies want the sweetheart deal, including grandfathering in their 22-year-old billboards. Says First Amendment attorney Brenton, quote, what a surprise. Was the Los Angeles City Council not thinking about this when they approved the agreement, end quote? Keith Stevens erected his Screw You City Hall billboard just before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving because he says with annoyance, annoyance, he was, quote, never, has never been given an equal seat at the table, end quote. So why shouldn't he put up illegal billboards? An attorney with Delgadillo's office says the city council is to blame. Quote, the settlement is supposed to make 98 billboards come down, end quote, says the attorney who asked not to be identified. Quote, is that a fair deal? The city council looked at that and voted on it. If they didn't want it, if they didn't want it, they could have rejected it, end quote. Quote, give me a break, end quote, spits why, slamming Delgadillo. Quote, they drove the negotiation. They recommended the settlement. They did it and basically said, take it or leave it, end quote. Los Angeles politicians seem not to learn from their mistakes. On April 22nd, the city council voted to clear, let Clear Channel erect two precedent-setting monster-sized billboards along the 10 freeway ending a golden era in which that stretch was protected from billboard blight. My gosh. 
In explaining the council's large largesse, the Los Angeles Times, KPCC Radio, and others reported that Clear Channel would contribute to portion a portion of its revenue toward the wetlands, a wetlands park in Jan Perry City um, Council's district. Except that's not true. Eva Kandarpa, spokeswoman for Perry, confirmed to the weekly that Clear Channel is not contributing a dime to Perry's parks. For the most part, Clear Channel is merely agreeing to drop the lawsuit it, it, it filed against the MTA. A good example of how the firm's chronic litigiousness pays off. Since Clear Channel will earn up to $3.3 million a year in ad revenue from the freeway billboards, the monstrous bill, the monsters the monster billboards idea was unanimously rejected by the city's planning commission whose members all realized such a deal would flood city hall with requests from other billboard firms wanting the same kind of choice real estate along the 10 in a letter to council president garcetti outspoken planning commission president jane usher warned city leaders were setting a billboard precedent this case is not truly about providing a much needed park in the heart of los angeles Billboard, or end quote, sorry about that. Billboard, billboard activists elsewhere marvel that a city with the power and money of Los Angeles could have such apparently clueless and co-opted leaders. Uh, just to break away from the article a little bit, they're not clueless. Look at Eric Garcetti's background. Just go, type in Eric Garcetti into Wikipedia. You will find this is one of the most brilliant men in Los Angeles, basically. In Los Angeles City Council, if not the most brilliant men in Los Angeles City Council. What, Rhodes? He's like a Rhodes Scholar? I mean, this, he's like 27 or something. He's a genius. He's if he's not incompetent. If anybody, it's like, that's like calling Einstein incompetent because, I mean, it's, it's a joke. He, they're just all criminals. They're all just committing all these crimes. They're just going against the, the people's wishes. Let me get back to the article. I'm almost done. Um, billboard activists elsewhere marvel at a city in power, blah, 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 blah. Quote, it really wanted to tackle this with, leaders, with leadership from the mayor on down. The city would look differently. End quote, says Marcy, Mary Tracy of Scrubs. It is too hard to make money and then enforce the law. End quote, she says. Hathaway, Wu, and Silver won't give up while far more powerful people buckle. Their coalition to ban billboard blight is gearing up to fight State Senator Gloria Negrette, McLeod's bill to let companies replace some highway billboards with digital displays that flip images every six seconds, another huge revenue windfall critics say the public almost certainly wouldn't support. The three modest clutter fighters are also poised to attack the installment on Ventura Boulevard, a block from Silver's house, of an LED billboard whose flashy, flashing imagery they believe poses a safety hazard on a crowded street filled with distractions. I feel like, sorry, quote, I feel like the snowball is rolling and it has, and it is picking up, end quote, says a grinning Hathaway as he drives along billboard infested streets pointing out signs and buildings wrapped with super graphics he suspects are illegal. Later, he forwards the weekly an email he sent to an executive at LA Outdoor Advertising razzing him for the illegal billboard stunt pool last November. Quote, it's totally illegal, end quote. His message to Lo Los Angeles Outdoor reads, the quote, the building department's order to remove it was upheld by the Board of Building and Safety Commissioners. You have a lot of gall to blatantly violate this, the law this way. Then flaunt it on your website, webpage. For, unfortunately, no one is listening. Well, now you are. I've given you, I've laid it out for you. No one else would do this for you. Because they're based, I mean, most of the people are getting paid for this, and so here you have it. Your city is completely corrupt. I mean, I remember, I remember researching Eric Garcetti's history a month ago, and I was like, wow, because I was planning on becoming a member of the city council. But then I was intimidated by this guy and his brilliance and his background. I mean, his education is amazing. Obviously, a higher learner. And obviously, he's not one who could be called corrupt, or I mean, uh, incompetent. Um, what is he? He's, all, he's also doing these backroom deals to make this, the first superstructure in Los Angeles a gigantic building on Gower and Sunset that's going to just destroy the view for thousands of Los Angeles citizens, blocking, obstructing the Hollywood sign. I mean, come on. 
look at Villaraigosa. I mean, all he does is go around smiling at people and continually upping the debt. I mean, he keeps spending. I mean, come on, my goodness. <clears throat> and then he won't even talk to you about the, the big police headquarters that's now over $100 million um, over its proposed budget. I mean, we're getting screwed here. This is Frank News. I hope you enjoyed it. This was an article about three weeks ago in Los Angeles Weekly. All rights are reserved to them. Thank you very much for allowing me to uh, read it. Take care. Take action. Infowars.com.